Okay, so I'm done my little uh, training session for now. And let me open my status screen real quick to show you my stats. I did a little bit of speed training at the gym, like maybe like one or two sessions each. Uh, Renamon hasn't gotten 39 yet because I haven't done her for that, but that's what she's got on. I've been moving the um, the bolt power two in the counter crest. For everyone, um, I don't know what Gilmon something he has is causing frequent confusion to the enemies, so I don't know what the hell it is. I've tried on equipping the shock helm, but it's obviously not that, so I don't know what it is. But because of that, the counter crest doesn't work on him. Because obviously that confusion is a special effect. It took me forever to figure out what the hell was going on. So yeah, that's a quick peek at the stats right there. And I did uh, unlocking these evolutions a little bit differently than I had planned. Nothing too drastically different. But as I actually, you know, look through um, the charts, I started changing my mind a little bit here. Okay, so we're going to start with Gilmon first, because he's on the uh, first page of my book. Okay, what we have done for him, uh, Stigmon at level 40 unlocks uh, Kabuterimon, so we're going to switch that, and let me check that off my list. Okay. Uh, I'm doing Anjuwomon for now, um, because you, sorry, at level 10, with a spirit of 200, you unlock Cubimon, but I'm going to keep Anjuwomon on for now, because I need to get her to level 40. Uh, Metal Gururumon, I only put to 85 for the time being. I want to keep him because I, I have Mechanical Bachelor and I don't want to keep that for a while. So I will be using him sporadically, but at level 85, he learns Metal Wolf Claw, which is the first we're finally seeing of the learned uh, signature text. Obviously, you can see down there it's orange. The only ones we've seen so far are the ones that when we blast Digivolve, when we, you know, go to, you know, Digivolve to that, um, their signature tech appears in their list for, with a cost of temporarily zero MP. Those are their signature techs. This is the first we've actually learned, and they're only learned at, like, high levels. So any you see that I'm learning are gonna be from, like, Megas getting, uh, you know, ultimates or Megas to get Megas on the Digivolution tree, because usually they're only learned at, like, levels, like, 70 and up. And the only time I'm gonna be using, doing getting that far is when somebody has a Digivolution, you know, tree or corner made of 99, so I probably won't see another one for a while. So I'm gonna keep my party like that, uh, game on for that for a while. And pardon me, I forgot to check off keeping on my list here. I don't want to get too sidetracked on here. I love how I am like marring my book with all these. Uh, actually no, I don't want to load, see if I can load any more text. Not that I'm really going to use that, but uh, next we have Monmon. Mon. Okay, Metal Monmon at skill level 40. Well, you learn Metal Gururumon after that, but there's one small problem. It has a prerequisite of also machine tolerance of 240. Monmon's machine, well, right now you're seeing uh, Metal Monmon's machine tolerance, but Monmon himself, his machine tolerance is 239. Kick in the balls if I ever felt one major kick in the balls. So instead of trading machine tolerance, I'm just going to wait until it gets to level 40 because that will raise it up, you know, at least at the bare minimum of one. Because he, you know, rookie-wise, that's what he specializes in. So at level 40, I'll, you know, I'll just take one battle with Metal Mommy Mon in that will give him Medical Room on. So I'm keeping him on for the time being because of that. Because you have to actually level up to unlock a new evolution if you're missing a prerequisite. So, which kind of sucks. So, you don't like gain it automatically for getting the second requisite. Uh, what else? Uh, Magna Anjuman I've been working, uh, worked on a little bit, taking him to skill level 10 because now we get small heal. Didn't we learn anything else for him? No, we did not. Whoops, and I'm sorry I just smacked my friggin' headset there. Yeah, see, we've just had, uh, what we have before. So we're, but we can load metal attack, so we're gonna do that. And why do I have metal mommy mod still as the primary, but I'll fix that. Soon enough. Okay, for Redamon. 
Eldermon is level 50! And we're gonna ditch her for, uh, Imperial Dramon, and there's no other prerequisite for that, so that's another mega we can ship onto our list. Right there. Oh, the Gromon is only 27, so, and I didn't do anything with Rosemon yet, so that's all she's unlocked so far. And let's load some crappy text that we're gonna have no use for. Yeah, see, we get nothing we can load, so. So that's what's changed in the party as of late. Making very slow progress here, but progress is better than none. And as you can see, we're getting close to level 40, so we're gonna be unlocking our, uh, natural mega soon, and that's gonna open a huge portion of the tree. There's a lot of stuff that's, um, later on in the tree, such as, you know, more forms of Imperiamon, Omnimon, Grand Kawagamon, Diaboramon, you know, all the really, you know, top tier megas come from you know, kind of like a Pyodramon thing, where it comes from different branches of the tree. So you have to train two different types to a certain level to get them. And about half, more than half of those don't come off their own trees until you get this level 40. Which really kind of sucks. So I'm not going to train here anymore. Um, I've exhausted all the Cardmon boosters I can get from the ones in the trees. So, like, I've probably gotten every single card you can imagine possible from those boosters. I did go briefly to West Sector to fish there, um, but the Pink Abedramon there have a tendency to flee, and the Cardmon there are actually four-carded black Cardmon in West Sector, and they have a very high tendency to flee as well. And their curse does a lot more. Like, um, the Cardmon we've seen so far have a chance to either, uh, curse your strength, defense, or speed, or any combination of the three, the ones in West Sector there will curse all three. Which kind of sucks. So combined with that and their very high ten higher tendency to flee, and obviously being stronger, that kind of sucks. So I only did like two battles and got booster 13 base, so I got a couple good cards from that. But I'm like, screw it, it's not worth it to stay there. So what are we going to do now? Well, we could, you know, uh, go back and put the final hour or two of the game in motion, but we're not going to do that, because in the infinite words of H.C. Bailey, the best time to do side questing is when the world needs to be really saved and you're really screwed. Yeah. Yeah. So with Burner 1, I'm going to actually bounce back and forth between uh, Gramon and Imperial Dramon, because I need stuff from balls. And what else? Uh, right now is, like I said, we were doing, uh, I'm going to start side quests. Anyway, those side quests are going to eventually include um, the dual, my dual island in this server. I'm not quite ready for that yet. I don't want to get some more different boosters and more cards. But we'll eventually get to that. But the first of which is some optional bosses that I almost completely forgot about. I mean, they're 100% optional, so you don't have to do them. But there's some good experience, and you get some exclusive items. I'm just going to show off Imperial Dramon here, because we haven't seen him yet. This is merely one form. There are three different, I think, I think three different ones in the game. And have we seen Megashi Dramon yet? I think we might have, but damned if I can remember. So yeah, we get a good butt shot of him. Of course, we don't get skill level for that because we're a little bit stronger than them. But what we're gonna do? If I can stop getting attacked. Yeah, I know I'm talking a hell of a lot here. We're gonna go all the way back to East Sector, but we're not taking that dock I just bypassed. We're going to um, do it the old school long way because I want to get as much experience as possible. And where I'm gonna go is I'm gonna go to the Protocol Ruins. So, I'm gonna... Oh, can I not use this? Oh my god, I can't! Oh my god, that... I guess I do have to take that dock. I really thought you could do that here. Okay, sucks to be me then, I guess. So I guess I have to take that, but instead of going to Central Park, I'm gonna go to, uh... Actually, I'll go to Central Park. 
definitely take the, the uh, technically longest path possible. Please remember that dock leads to both the uh, Central Park and Kicking Forest. I think I could go to either one. Because the protocol ruins like right in the middle. <laughs> Yeah, regardless of uh, which path I take, I'm gonna cut back in once I got to get to the protocol ruins. 